Hey, what's up, guys? It's Theo from Fino Concepts. So, today I'm going to show you how to fix an overexposed video in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concepts. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up our application. For this show, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro 2019 and I'll go ahead and create a new project. Now I'm going to leave the name as whatever you want and just click on OK. Now once it's loaded up, I will just open up my file explorer and just drop my overexposed video inside the project window and close this up. Now I'll click and drag the video into the timeline. You don't have to do this, you can just click and drag from your file explorer directly into the video timeline and you are going to get the exact same result as I have here. So I don't want this video to be too long so I'll just move about um, 6 seconds and I'll go ahead and grab the razor tool and cut it off. So I'll just use the selection tool and delete this up. Alright so this is what we have and you can clearly see that the video is overexposed. So to correct this go into the project window click on this icon right here for the new item and click on adjustments layer leave everything the way it is and just click on ok now once this is done just click and drag the adjustment layer on top we do this because we don't want to be editing directly on the video itself we just want to use an adjustment layer so that at any point in time you can make changes to that adjustment layer without it affecting the actual video so once we've done that I'll just go into the effects window and I'll type in Lumetri color. Color is spelled without the U. So I'll just click and drag that onto the adjustment layer. And I'll go into the effects control. Let me hide this for a second. Under the Lumetri color, I'll go into basic correction. Scroll down a bit. And where we see the highlights, I'm just going to turn it down by a lot. So move over to the negative aspect. So probably around negative 100 should be just fine. And I'll crank up the shadows to about 10. The whites I'm also going to bring them down to about negative 15. And the blacks will also go down by about negative 150. So basically you just go ahead and play with this until you are comfortable with what you have. I think I'll probably turn down the highlight to about negative 120 and I'll turn down the shadow to about negative 30 as well. So yeah, let's try making this um, or probably just negative 10 and you can see this is the before and the after. Now you can see that the shadows are a little bit too much. So what I can do is I can increase the blacks just by a little bit. So let's say say about um, 50 more than I already had and probably 100 so this is the settings I'm going with now I can go into the caves scroll down a little bit now in the caves I'm going to bring up the exposure just a little bit to the top and I'll click and drag to the bottom here so that we get some form of S like this unfortunately I can't control how opaque this curves should be so I'm just going to be getting it right off the bat so somewhere around here should be just fine and if you in case you want to dive a little bit more deep I think that will also work for you so basically this is it this is the final video and if I go ahead and render this out you will be able to tell the difference between the two so let me know in the comments below which one you think looks much better this or that all right thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is Theo from Fino Concepts and I'll talk to you guys in the next one